Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is David Deeruff, and I'm on the streaming team at Datastax. Today I'm going to be talking about Pulsar Consumer Receive Modes. If you want to follow along and don't already have a deployment of Pulsar, please visit astra.datastax.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastax. We have lots of Pulsar experts that would be happy to help answer any questions you may have or help you with any Pulsar problems you might be experiencing. All right, so let's get into consumer receive modes. So the context here is you have something producing messages and uh, sending them to a topic. And now you want to consume those messages off the topic. So one of the questions that you're going to have to answer is, how do you want to receive those messages? Your choices are either synchronous or asynchronous. Synchronous blocks processing until a message is available and then returns that single message. Whereas asynchronous is a subscription that provides a promise to deliver messages as they are published. As with most things, synchronous version is going to be much easier and more straightforward, but a little less robust. You simply are going to call the receive uh, function and it's going to get a message and there you have it. There's your message and continue on. Whereas asynchronous, that is going to offer more options in terms of managing threads and, and where the listening is happening, the subscription but uh, is of course a little more involved and, and requires a little bit more understanding of uh, uh, thread processes and background things and foreground things and, and all of that. Let's go in and have a look uh, at each Pulsar client and how they manage this. In the C-sharp client, the connection, the client is built in a pretty straightforward way. The consumer is made in again, a pretty straightforward way. In this case, we're gonna do uh, schema.string to keep it simple. The interesting part is uh, at the await. In C Sharp, await is going to block the thread. And it's going to use a uh, native interface for C, -shape, C Sharp called IAsync Enumerable. That's a uh, enumeration of messages in this case. And so it's going to manage the threads and everything for us in the background and just give us a nice clean loop to uh, continually uh, carry over until the connection is broken or we break out of the uh, loop. The Java client is uh, somewhat similar actually to the c -sharp client. Uh, we're gonna get a consumer, we're gonna set a subscription uh, and a topic. Uh, I guess the difference here is we're going to have a message listener. So this is a pretty darn uh, easy way of doing this, very clean way of doing this, where the message listener takes in a callback. And so the callback in this case is implementing message listener, as you can see, and in there, there's a uh, received method. The received method takes in uh, who the consumer is and the message that's being provided so that you can work with it and do things. Acknowledgement, of course, is uh, a pretty smart thing to do. I broke out the uh, subscribe call here just to make it completely obvious that this is where the blocking is actually happening. The thread blocking is actually happening is in consumer.subscribe. There are quite a different ways that you could do this, uh, similar to the C-sharp way where you could create a uh, uh, kind of an enumeration and could get into managing the thread a little more deeply, uh, but this is a pretty uh, clean way. Python, uh, we're going to create the client, uh, we're going to subscribe, and in doing the subscription, that is also going to block. Uh, any processing. And notice in here we have a message underscore listener. Uh, that is uh, a callback uh, where uh, it is given the consumer and message similar to the Java client and uh, messages or uh, gets the message body and uh, does the message acknowledgement. Go, uh, if we're going to create the uh, client we're going to use the uh, native functions uh, called channel in uh, Go. So we create all our options with our topic and our subscription name and all that. And then we do a uh, client.subscribe. So that will start uh, listening for uh, messages. 
And then we're going to sit in this uh, range uh, channel, which is going to receive new messages uh, endlessly. It's going to receive new messages and uh, you know parse things out, acknowledge the messages. So we would have to break out of this, make the choice to break out of this, or when the connection is broken, uh, it would uh, be exited out. So that's a little bit about uh, consumer receive modes. I hope you learned something there. If we can help you out in any way with uh, Pulsar, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below in the video or uh, contact us anytime. Thank you.